Hi there, I'm Anne-Marie, or Re for short, and I write the fashion and beauty blog, Really Re. Um, I'm going to be talking to you about my top summer style tips, which include dewy skin, purple smoky eye, and some hair and accessories chats. Now I'll start with the skin. Um, in summer, I tend to wear a bit of fake tan, um, because I'm very pale and I don't really tan naturally. So I find, though, that my, the skin on my face gets a lot paler than the rest of my body. So I tend to keep it topped up every day or every other day with like a daily tanner, um, possibly one like this. I use this one, Olay, which is Total Effects Touch of Sunshine, and it's a moisturiser with a bit of self-tan in there. It's got an SPF 15 as well, which is really good because you want to make sure you're protected from, the, from overexposure to the sun. Um, so for the dewy skin, you, you f it's a lot easier to do in summer because you say you have got a bit of either natural tan or fake tan, which tends to mask any of those imperfections a little bit more than usual. So you, you don't need the heavy coverage that you would say maybe in the winter. So I quite like to use a tinted moisturiser or a moisturiser that's actually got a touch of foundation in, so it's a bit more of a tint. So something like... This, this is another Olay one, Total Effects Touch of Foundation. Again, it's got a 15 um, SPF there. It's a day moisturiser, just with some foundation in there as well. It's really nice. I'll show you. You've just got, like, it looks like a foundation, but it's a lot, lot sheerer. And a top tip, I find, is to put in something in there that we're going to give it an extra bit of dewiness and glow. Now, this is called... Complete Care Multi Radiance by Olay Radiant Glow. It's a day cream, but it's got light reflecting particles in there. So if you mix that in to your either, you know, you know if you went for a foundation, you can lighten it up by adding a moisturiser. That makes it a lot more glowy. It's got that extra pigment in there. And then you literally, I mean, I always find best just to stick to the T zone, start there. And blend blend outwards so just keep it nice and light then next step is to just conceal any bits that need any extra attention so I mean I just put my concealer on a brush and go just under the eye I've, I would normally go over the eye but I've already started my smoky eye here so just so that we don't have to spend so long on it and then around the nostrils, I find always need a bit of extra cover, a bit red there, anywhere there's redness. And then I find I used to get spots here when I was younger, so that does get reddened up a bit. So just cover those, any bits that are just not quite as perfect. You just, that's the thing, to keep it light, just pay attention to where you need it rather than all over blanket coverage over your face. And then just a light dusting of powder. Make sure it's light because you don't want to spend all that time, you know, getting glowy and dewy just to mattify it all with powder. So when you're absolutely sure there's no powder left on the brush, just sort of sweep all over and you're ready to go. So that's the, that's the dewy skin. Now moving on to the smoky eye, the purple smoky eye, which is the colour hot on the catwalks for spring, summer 11. Um, I'm using these Max Factor, um, they're called Max Factor Mono Eyeshadow. And I'm using three toning colours. So we've got the, this one is the Velvet Violet. This one is the Vibrant Mauve. And then the lighter one for highlighting and contouring is called Soft Lilac. So you've got those three colours there that tone in really nicely. Now I always start with the darkest colour. So I'll start with the, the mauve and I just use a socket brush, so round edge, and just take it in to the like the corner around the around the socket. Just kind of in that line there. Keep everything going upwards, you don't want anything going down because it tends to age you. Okay? So just keep that as the point. And 
and that's the first step. Now then you move on to the middle colour. Take a nice flat brush and you just kind of go over the whole eyelid area. Now this is an over the colour where you've put the darker one as well, which is quite good because it means you don't have to worry so much about what you've done with the dark colour because this kind of like buffs off any hard edges and makes it like nice and smoky. There you go. And then the final step with a smaller flat brush, go with the lighter one and it's literally just a matter of catching the inner corners and under the brow bone. Go. And then it's all about blending. So get a nice soft brush like that and blend away circular motions. Right, so next, a bit of eyeliner. This is a really nice one. It's by Max Factor called Colour Perfection Eyeliner. This is in gr charcoal grey. Keep it nice and soft. So try and stay away from black because we're, we're going for the soft purple smoky eye, which is, you know, a twist on the original black smoky eye, a lot softer. So I'll just run it along the rim here. And then you can just kind of like blend it with a Q-tip. There you go. And then I'm a big, big fan of a liquid eyeliner. So I really like this one. Again, it's another Max Factor one. Gli Masterpiece Glide and Define. This is in grey as well. And I just do a little cat flick. Nice and subtle though. It's not like a dark black line. It just defines and blends in with the colour. It's really nice. Okay, keep everything up as well, make sure the flick's going pointing up and doesn't go too far and start pointing down. And there you go, and then for the final little touch to the eye, this is my favourite, favourite mascara at the moment. It's Full Slash Effect Fusion volume and length it pays attention to. So again, just work that right into the roots. Close to the lash line as you can and bending up the eyelashes to make them nice and curly. This mascara is really good, it's really buildable. So you can literally kind of keep going and it won't clump. I like, I like quite a lot of mascara. So that's the eyes done, and, um, and just to finish off, I just put a slick of this Sheer Balm Gloss, which is Max Factor Experience, really nice, it's like a cross between a lip balm and a lipstick, and then it's a good multi-purpose product as well, because you can just shove it on the apples of your cheeks, blend it in a bit, and you've got really lovely, dewy, fresh looking glow. And then the last tip is the hair, now Summer, I think, you know, nice to keep it off of your face, especially if it's really hot. So I'm a big fan of a top knot. Now just spray in some leave-in conditioner because you might as well be nourishing your hair while, while it's up. That's a um, Pantene Aqualite Pro-V. It's really, really nice. It's nice and light. It doesn't weigh your hair down and it, sits, it sinks in really nicely and nourishes. And then just pull your hair back in a nice kind of loose ponytail like this and then I just start to twist into a bun there you go and just wrap a band around it a couple of times and then my final tip is the aviator sunglasses which are a classic shape they suit most face shapes they've been around forever they'll always be in style brilliant picking up on the 70s trend so that's, the, that's it, it's my dewy skin, purple smoky eye, ballerina top knot and my aviators. Thanks for watching, bye bye.